In December of 1973, we first visited Jupiter with the Pioneer 10 spacecraft. When Pioneer 10 launched on March 3rd of 1972, it was unmatched by any other robotic spacecraft. And it wasn't just a mission to Jupiter. It was NASA's first ever mission to the outer planets and it scored a host of firsts for the agency. It was the first spacecraft launched on a trajectory that would take it outside the solar system. It was the first spacecraft to fly beyond Mars in the asteroid belt. And it was the first spacecraft to fly with an all nuclear power and electrical system. And it wasn't going all that way without a suite of instruments, including imaging systems to gather light in different wavelengths, plasma analyzers, cosmic ray and charged particle analyzers, and asteroid, meteoroid, and radiation detectors. Pioneer 10 got close enough to Jupiter to begin imaging on November 6th of 1973. It made its closest approach on December 4th of 1973 when it passed just 80,998 miles from the planet, traveling at 82,020 miles per hour. Six of the spacecraft's 11 instruments worked continuously throughout the encounter. This included passes by a handful of Jupiter's moons, gathering data on the atmosphere, the magnetic environment around the planet, and it also took a lot of images. Pioneer 10 sent back hundreds of images of Jupiter and its moons Callisto, Ganymede, and Europa. The images show the swirling clouds of Jupiter and its great red spot in far more detail than we had ever seen with Earth-based telescopes to that point. After its encounter with Jupiter, Pioneer 10 took 10 years to cross the orbit of Neptune, but eventually it began its journey to the edge of the solar system on June 13th of 1983. Since 1973, we have sent far more sophisticated spacecraft to Jupiter with far better cameras, and we've taken far better images. But those first images of Pioneer 10 remain sort of striking because they were, after all, the first time we ever saw Jupiter up close. And they happened in space.